everyone. I'm Shay Rochelle, and welcome to a very special episode of Beyond Incredible, sponsored by Capri Pizza here. And uh, today's date is Friday, July 25th. And this video, video is actually going to be airing uh, next Friday, August 1st at 6.30 p.m. And uh, we're here at the Business Accelerator, located at 720 Ulat Ave. And my special guest today is the one and only King of Windsor, rap artist Icky Eric. Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> I never heard that one before. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Well, You're you a royalty. Like yes. Oh. We love having you here. I'm, I'm already loving this interview. That sounds great. <laughs> How does it feel to be king? Uh, whoa, I don't know. I just heard that for the first time. I got to let it marinate. <laughs> uh -huh. Let it marinate. Let it sink in. No, nah, you know what? Because I don't live uh, in Windsor anymore, um, when I come down, it's always interesting to see the little pieces and bits of people like recognizing me or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I haven't had a chance to quite, you know, soak it up the way I would if I lived here. Yeah. I guess um, for me, it's still kind of uh, not really that real yeah. because I don't get to for live sure. in it. Back home, I'm still just another face on the street. Right? Exactly. So, You're so humble. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, don't I know. know. <laughs> and I was going to say, I feel comfortable saying that because you do have a humble attitude. You seem like you have a huge heart, passion in your music. So, I mean, would I be right about that? I hope so. I yeah. like to think I have a good heart and all that. You do, yeah. Mom I, keeps I, me in I check. Good. Yeah, you <laughs> raised them right, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, you see the pizza box on the table. And uh, I know how much you love our famous pizza here in Windsor. Oh, yeah. So, I have some connections and the amazing Capri Pizza wanted to surprise you. And they made you your okay. own pizza. Now, it is your toppings that you love. So, let's just... Oh, yeah. Feast oh, our eyes right on that there. huge ass pizza. That's right, the it's Canadian. It's friggin' huge, yeah. What's up? <laughs> yeah, so we want to thank them for that. I appreciate it. They sponsored our show and uh, definitely gave us that pizza for you. So it's pepperoni, mushrooms, and green peppers if you want the icky Eric special. I have to dig into this <laughs> after because otherwise they'll be oh, yeah, yeah. all you over my face. Eat till your heart's content. <laughs> <laughs> so, and thanks to Curtis, our awesome delivery guy, for bringing the pizza. Thanks, He's Curtis. He's a cutie. <laughs> So, now, who influenced you the most to get into the business? Um, it's funny, actually. I'm writing a song about that right now. Yeah. And the first line is, um, it, was a, it was a song that got me into it. It wasn't mm -hmm. necessarily, I mean, of course, it was the artist. Uh, the instrumental was a part of it, too. I just, uh, it was a song by Nas. It right. all started with a Nas track, yeah. miles back, obsessed. Yeah. I memorized that. I would listen to it over and over again, a song called The Message. And uh, I got to the point where I finally downloaded the instrumental and just wanted to see if I could rap the words without, um, you know, the, the lyrics right on it. Right. And, of course, I'd have to skip spots where there was things I couldn't say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. And, and uh, I got it. I remember nailing it down and being like, man, this is so fun. Like, yeah. it gave me a crazy feeling, you know, goosebumps. And then uh, I started writing my own lyrics to it. Wow. I didn't even, I don't even think I got that far because that's a long instrumental. But that right. was the one that got me. Kept going and going. I caught a few more instrumentals on my computer. And next right. thing you know, you know yeah, I'm for sure. The studio. That's great. <laughs> now, how long, how did uh, living in Windsor actually contribute to that? Um, wow, well, I think that makes it really tough, man. To be yeah. honest, because now that I've had a chance to compare it to other cities, mm -hmm. um, it does. It, I mean, like Windsor has a really some great artists. Some of them have gotten yeah. good recognition. Yeah. Um, it just isn't necessarily the platform to stand on. And right. A lot of these guys have gone through the... stepping stone, right? I mean. Well, a lot of these guys have gone through the internet to mm -hmm. really get recognized otherwise. You know, including myself, right? Even oh, yeah. Because I wasn't even here, and even Social if I was... Social media boss now, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, you know, if you want to expand your horizons... Because, like, my song, the only reason I feel like that one got big here is because I didn't do anything too purist hip-hop. I kept it kind of light in that mm -hmm. song. Right. A lot of my other songs aren't really that light. Some of them are vulgar. Right. And, uh, you know, I feel like I kept it um, PG enough that that, you know, that was what took off about it. Um, but for a lot of artists that don't have that, that PG song, like I didn't for years, right. um, it's really hard in this area, you know, to get recognized because there's just that lack of um, hip-hop fans in, in mass. It's true. Just kind I, of the I way it that is. For sure. Yeah, people are a lot of rock fans out here and all yeah. that too. So, yeah, exactly. You know, it's just a, a situation with the, you know, a product of the situation, I guess. Right, for sure. Yeah. Now, were you seen as the black sheep in your family, so to speak? Or was your family <laughs> totally accepting of you wanting to pursue your career as a rap artist? Oh, man. 
my my brother was the black sheep. He's in trouble all the time. <laughs> okay, okay, well, and, leave it on him. Yeah, point. and so, like, um, the way my family was, they were just happy if I wasn't, you know, getting brought home. That's great, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? So, something like the music. My dad's a professional musician still I to love this day. it. I love yeah. it, yeah. He still, that's all he does is performs wow. and stuff. He goes around different bands. and that's Yeah, he great. had his 15 minutes, too. His uh, One of his videos made it to... Number three on the Chevy Top 20 on CMT. Oh, they were a you know, country, country band. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen my old man in a minute. Yeah, but, you know we're, it's, it's in the it's in the genes. Definitely. So, I mean, nothing but support on my. Yeah, family. for sure. So first, why rap? Uh, up until like three years ago, I couldn't sing at all. I've been training and trying. But, yeah. Um, I mean, I used to play guitar when I was younger. I've mm -hmm. I've gone through all different phases and you know always you know i used to sculpt i always try to express myself in some way or another right. um but i think uh hip-hop ultimately was like i said that thing that got me like yeah you know the goosebumps it just consumed me yeah for sure hard to explain why yeah <laughs> and how did you come to realize that you actually had the talent to write music and perform um, it didn't, like, I mean, to have the talent to do it is kind of irrelevant in a lot of cases. I mean, I, mm -hmm. if I like drawing pictures that are awful, you know, if I like to draw a circle and call it a lemon, let me be, you know what I yeah. mean? So, um, it took until somebody recognized it and said, you know, that's good for me to feel validated. But even then, if I hadn't been, I probably would have worked on it until I made something I like. Mm -hmm. Um, but even to this day, I'm not convinced. If somebody tells me, you know, I really like it, I'm like, okay, get that's one more. I still got like a billion <laughs> other people it's to prove. It's true, and that's you know? a great attitude to have because there's so many, you know, attitudes in this industry. I think you know certain people that I'm talking about, and it's, <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's nope. you know, <laughs> you know how that goes. Yeah. And I and I mean, it can take away from the music. It really does, you know. And then you start thinking of them as a person. You're like, I don't want to listen to a song. I don't like him. Mm. So I mean, it's nice to be a good person still and and not be cocky. I mean, you know, you still remember where you came from. So, I mean, my next question is, are you actually surprised by how talented you are? <laughs> <laughs> are you noticed? I don't know how to answer you a question it? like that. Like, <laughs> you know, you're humble enough, though, I mean. The, like, the real me just wants to be like, stop. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Like, sometimes I, like, legitimately, I probably wouldn't still have a passion for it if I didn't write something every once in a while, play it back, and be like, mm. Damn. like, there we yeah. go. That was exactly what I was hoping for it yeah. to sound like. Or, um. My roommate, uh, uh, Samo and, and Lawa, they're, they're like, uh, Samo's like a producer. He made some of my beats. Right. Um, he did the beat for the one I'll, I'll be doing for you guys today. Okay. And uh, I'll call him in. Uh, in. My room is where I do all my mixing. I have right. my studio monitors and everything right That's in my great. bedroom. It's cool to live right next it, to it. For sure. So I'll call them in and I'll say, listen to this. What do you think? And I'll give them my criticism. Like mom with their cooking, you know. Yeah, oh, it's, exactly. It's, it's got too much sugar in it. Yeah. And, you do know you what take I mean? criticism well? Oh, yeah. Good, I went to good. University. Some people are like, nah. <laughs> yeah. I went to Move university out. and took media in <laughs> yeah, school. Yeah, good. And the first thing that happens your first semester is people just tear you apart. Wow. Right? You know what I mean? That's the way it works, wow. right? You watch a video yeah. and you go... I like it, but, and that's a, that's exactly how they all start. Yeah. And then it's like, you could have done this, your lighting was bad here, and you just poured your heart into it. Yeah. And I remember the first time it happened, I just wanted to be like, Did I get that long really? Like, okay, like, <laughs> no, you know it is. Okay. I was like, well, look at your video. <laughs> yeah. But that was what we were there for, so I've learned to really, you know, take it well. I yeah. Think. Well, that's important to do, right? And I'll let your pride get to you. And it's hard, but hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, why do you think so many rappers today, speaking of egos and all that, and, I mean, you know, talent, especially Canadian rappers, why do you think they come and go so much? Um, well, I mean, it, tying back to something we were talking about earlier about the scene here, I don't know about Canadian rappers in general because mm -hmm. I haven't been exposed to a grand array of them for a long period of time right, right. other than in Windsor. Yeah. And as I was mentioning, the scene isn't necessarily, like, the most supportive. The people that are right. are great. Yes. It's just, we're yeah. just not You a need mass. the support. You need it, though. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. There's just not a mass of hip-hop heads that will come to shows out here. Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, it might not necessarily be the most rewarding thing. You might feel like you're mm -hmm. failing when really yeah, you're just definitely. failing in one environment. Right. Um, you know, beyond that, I don't, I really don't mean this in a negative way about mm -hmm. my city, but I feel like if we had the Super Bowl here and it was free, there would be empty seats. People I in get Windsor it. You've got to have the, patch, the passion. I, I noticed that for sure with certain events and things like that. It's like, you've got to go. You wonder, people are like, I don't know, nothing happens around here. Well, if, you know, they're not going to sell tickets and, you know, what the happens? vendors are going to set up, nobody's going to come. That's where, you know, that's the lack yeah. of events and, 
and people wanting to do things. That's where that comes from. There's been a ton but, of that. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> you can have all the talent in the world, but if nobody's coming to see you, I mean, it can make you feel like crap. So, who wants to perform? And, Amen. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you got to have good fans, and you do. You definitely have great fans. I've been lucky this you last have six fans. months, man. Holy yeah. moly. <laughs> like, yeah. Even in Toronto, I do a show there, exactly. and they just come out in mass. It's yeah, great. I am very impressed. Now, speaking of them, you know, certain rappers that come and go, what's the difference between you and them? Um, you have had some I'm already old. Like, I just accepted yeah, right. it. I'm 28, <laughs> and uh, I don't even want to get into That's it. Nothing. I was just accused recently of being a lot older than I am, and I, ooh, I'm sensitive about that. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> being a hip-hop artist, you know, I'm not yeah. supposed to be old. <laughs> no, you're, you're not. I mean, I yeah, know, you know. are crazy. I just opened for an artist called Ed OG, and this guy's been making hits since the early 90s. And he's still, he rocks it. And he still looks yeah, young and everything. Yeah, hell yeah. That was up in Toronto, like, last week. He killed it. He had a great show. And, yeah. you know, it, it felt great to be doing a show. Actually, it was at El Combo. That's where, like, the Stones used to play and stuff. Mm -hmm. My dad was all geeked when I told him about that. Wow. But, um, you know, like, for me, it's like, I feel like I've accepted the fact that, you know, I don't have to get signed before I'm 30. I don't have to, because I really, I don't do it for money. I give all my albums away for free. Wow. I really just like to, I mean, hard copy, I'll cover the cost of printing yeah. it, that's it. But digital, I give it all away. I right. do it because I, I, I feel like I'd be cutting my hands off if I did. Right. So, I mean, if people can stop, cool, you know, if it doesn't bother you, right. it would eat me alive. Yeah, so. and I feel like that's when the riches will come in, too, for people like that. You know, good things come to those who wait. I mean, you know, if you're acting like that already, I feel like... No, good things are going to come to you for sure. Even if they don't, I'm cool. And with if it. not, yeah, <laughs> and that's the great thing. I'll earn my own either, and either way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now you seem like a guy that knows how to have fun, and this industry is definitely a lot about uh, the pleasure rather than the business, and spending that cash, as we know, all the videos promoting that. But how do you keep the balance in your personal life? Um. <laughs> <laughs> or do you? <laughs> um. I basically will not miss an opportunity to have fun. Yeah. So, for example, I had work. you're young. So yeah. You're I had work this morning. I was out last night. On Tuesday, me and my roommates went out. We had the coolest Tuesday night ever, and I had to be up early in the morning. Yeah. And I just will not miss it. So, I mean, at this point, it's a time of my life where I, I am getting close to 30. I better get it all in before right. I, you know. Yeah. So, I, friends are important, right? Yeah, yeah, it's not even a decision for yeah. me. Like, it's an automatic. I'll be tired at work. I'll sacrifice this. I can sleep when I'm <laughs> Smiling old, in your two-hour sleep. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you had Don't fun, worry right? about it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a good way to look at it. Now, if you could pick one of your songs, just one for now, that best su sums up Icky Eric, what would it be? I would still say... Um, it's an old track that I released under my previous artist name when I called myself Smite the Kid. Right. Um, I did a song called Soul Bleeding, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I put that out in like 2010. Right. But um, I, I still feel to this day like either that one or the one I'm going to do for you today okay. uh, is like kind of closest to my heart, I guess. Mm. It's the best answer I've got. You'll have to listen close to that one. <laughs> okay. And all artists try to master the art of uh, being original. And often, you know, people get compared to others who have been around longer and, and all of that. I'm sure you're, you've heard mm. it all. So what is your style and who is Icky Eric in the world of hip-hop? Um, I don't know, man. Like, that's a tough one again. Mm -hmm. um, there's n not a lot of artists out there that I would say I, I would try to emulate on any scale. Mm -hmm. um, I hate to, to say it because I get the finger-in-the-face comparison so much. But it? it was obviously it's you know you already know I like yeah. Eminem a lot. <laughs> I love it, him too. I love his freestyles and yeah. Tim Westwood stuff and yeah. he'd say these things and I'd be laughing and at the same time a little bit jealous. The hilarity that I think and of his it. raps are yeah. But he's just so creative yeah. and then sometimes you know but I I can't I can't emulate some, somebody else's style because he'll say something insane. He'll yeah. talk about having STDs and oh, I know. slapping his I wife up everybody. And yeah. killing people and much, raping right. girls. He talks about the craziest he things does. that I can't commit to those kind of right. ways. You I've had different. one song where I got yeah. vulgar yeah. <laughs> like that. But uh, for the most part, uh, I don't know. I like to think I just try and stay me. And I listen to a lot of music that isn't hip-hop for my influence. Yeah. Um, I'll listen to indie artists or ones that haven't quite blown up yet right. and try and listen to the musical aspect there to help me make my instrumentals. And then after that, it's a brainstorm. I, I like to think it's all me. Right. <laughs> I would say, yeah, I can already tell that you have a genuine, you know, you are being yourself. 
I hope so. And that's the thing, too. <laughs> a lot of times when they get signed, they change completely, and you notice it. Yeah. You notice. You're like, dude, you don't dress like that. What the hell are you wearing skinny jeans for? You don't dress like that. Well, I think but, you do for money, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, let's talk about your origin. You're from beautiful Vancouver, B.C.? Born in Vancouver. Okay. I yeah. was there, too. I lived All there right. for about 16 years. Whoa. You got me yeah. beat. We moved when I was a kid. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was born in Montreal, and then I lived in B.C., and then I moved to Windsor by myself. So, I mean, yeah. another track there. Yeah, I've yet to be to Toronto, but, you know. Now, what do you love most about Ontario? Um, well, all my friends are here. And um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Ontario is just the best and the worst at the same time. You know? Yeah, it is You've different. got the best of both worlds. You've got the worst of both worlds. Yeah. We've got, you know, uh, a major hub like Toronto. You know, all sorts of huge cities. Um, if there's something you're looking for, you can find it in Ontario. You yeah. know what I mean? Whereas True. other remote locations out in B.C., even in Vancouver, there's limitations to what you can do and get, you yeah. know. Um, I mean, I'm referring mostly to Toronto because that's where I'm living now, and yeah. I'm enjoying the freedom of it, but even a place like Windsor, to be able to cross the border and go get the cheap shopping, the so gas, true. and all that. Yeah. I mean, Windsor's just so convenient for me to be here <laughs> when I come. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think, yeah, for sure. Now, do you have any upcoming performances on the West Coast? Oh, no, I haven't done a show out there since really? 2008. Okay. I mean, it's a long way to go. I still know it a is. promoter out yeah. there, and he, we talk about it. But, oh, hell yeah. Uh, shout out to that. Darren Walmsley, uh, DJ H2O out in Kelowna, BC. Hey. I think he might be in Hey, Kelowna, hey. <laughs> they call my living. hometown. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was living out there for yeah. a while. So that was the last show I did was out there, and I think it was in Vernon. Ah. But, um, yeah, I, I talk about it sometimes because I still have a few people I keep up with yeah. from out there. Yeah, have a little reunion show there. Yeah. Love that. That would be really cool. Yeah, for sure. A good crowd out there. Uh huh. And what about Ontario? What's next for performances? You know what? I've been talking to a lot of promoters. I got meetings next week. So far, I have yeah. Okay. I just had my last show, so a week before yesterday, so like Thursday. So by the time this comes out, mm -hmm. two weeks ago, right? Um, on Thursday night was when I opened for Ed OG. Wow. And then I think it was two weeks before that I had another show up in Toronto, and the promoter actually awarded me a free music video. Because I got so many people to come. He's never had an artist get that many people to show up before. Wow, I'm not surprised. Oh, I felt, <laughs> I felt like 100 yeah. feet tall when he told oh, me that. Yeah. At the very end That's of the show, great. he's like, give me the microphone. I'm like, okay, what's he going to say? I know. You know. Promote himself. Gets up there and says, uh, you know, I've never had this many people show up for one artist. I've been challenging Toronto rappers for this wow. long. And, and Icky Eric did it. I'm a free music video. Shout out to Freddie Fame in the fifth. That guy's the boy. <laughs> I'm pumped about that. we got, we got a <laughs> lot of stuff we're working on. That's really cool. Uh, and I mean, you got your birthday coming up. You gonna come back to Windsor for that? Um, I try to every time. Yeah. Um, I think so. I think so. Unless oh. I can get enough people to come up to Toronto, but yeah. I come to Windsor a lot. I, yeah. I, I don't like to miss a chance to come down and see yeah. my friends. So we'll That's see. That's great. No really plans is. yet. Yeah. Tentative. We'll see. I'll follow <laughs> you and, and check that out. So you're about to perform for us your song. It's called On and On. Mm -hmm. And uh, first, I want to say congrats on the success of Dubs in the Air. Thank you. I Thank am you. obsessed with that video, that song. It's <laughs> a great. I mean, check it out on YouTube, Dubs in the Air. It's dedicated to Windsor, Ontario. And it has about 60,000 views on YouTube. I mean, about it's that. a pretty friggin' big deal. Dubs <laughs> with a Z at the end. Yeah, Dubs look with, it up a with a Z. Yeah, Z, Z. Z, Z. Mm -hmm. I don't remember which is Canadian <laughs> or not. But if you type it in the yeah. wrong way, all that shows up is a video some kid made of oh, himself playing video you. games with my song over yeah. it. I gave him permission to do it. It's cool oh, okay. and, and good, good for you. you. <laughs> but I forget your name. I'm sorry. But yeah. um, I just, you know, you might, you might see that instead if you okay. put the wrong word. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, you have amazing fans for sure. And I know sometimes it can be tough when you're in the public eye. You know, people get jealous and there can be the cyber bullying <laughs> and all that crap. Oh, yeah. And it's happened to me as well. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm a spokesmodel of an anti-bullying campaign yeah. called the Huge Campaign. And, you know, it's all about being positive and standing up for what you believe in. And we're going to sponsor you with some huge gear. Oh, yeah? Because we're so impressed with you and your huh. message and your talent and everything. That's I mean, too you know, cool. And I want to give you a huge fan, first of all. Oh, sweet. It's not that big. Yeah. I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give that to you, and we're going to get you to pick out a shirt and a okay. dog tag after, because we'd love you to have that. And uh, basically, I bring that up because the way you handled some guy trash talking mm. <laughs> in the comment section on Dubs in the Air, check it out. Just, just pay attention. Oh, I mean, you're talking it's, about it's that worth one. some mention, because the way you handled it was so classy, 
and just I was I was stunned. Like I, I was waiting. Yes, I was stunned by by how you handled it. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna quote you. You said I finally took a look at his page, and the last thing I saw was him liking a video about overcoming depression. Makes sense, and I hope he feels better soon. No joke. Being depressed sucks. And you can make or say, you can say rude things for no good reason. And the guy responded and apologized. Yeah, that and he had been trolling me for a while. That, that is, was going on all week. trolling, yes, whatever <laughs> people, you know. I may have misused the term. He no, it is. Making it is fun called, of me yeah, all week, I don't know. It is called trolling, I guess. I've never <laughs> heard of it before until I looked this up. And, uh, yeah, it's very rare to see that. So major props <laughs> to you for handling that so well. Well, the funniest thing was I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. He's making fun of me for being bald, and at the end, he admitted that he's bald. Yeah, he's like, I shaved my head to a dude. I'm yeah. sorry. It's like, what? <laughs> you scared him. <laughs> you didn't even say anything rude. You didn't have to swear nothing. <laughs> Just done. Yeah. So, yeah. And I mean, after the show, like I said, we'll have you pick out some stuff, and we'll make cool. you mail it special delivery for you. All right. So, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. So now we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to let you set up, and we'll be right back. And uh, once again, the episode is brought to you by Capri Pizza, delicious Capri Pizza. And uh, they make fresh toppings. They have 100% Canadian cheese. So go order one. Yeah. You know why? Been down my share of roads. Took a few long turns. Ignored a few road signs, if you will. <laughs> but you know, I feel like I'm navigating well. I'm on the right track now. I might even be able to provide a little insurance, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, I told the young cat, holler if you need advice. I've done everything wrong, maybe even twice. It don't matter who you get to breathe on the dice. Make your own luck, your own pie, your own pizza slice. People cause others pain when their own is felt. A man with too many secrets doesn't know himself. You need to focus on your weaknesses and give it time. You need to focus on your strength or you could lose your mind. There's infinite possibilities, it's what you make. You put yourself to work, you give yourself a break. You burn the candle at both ends with no friends. It's like trying to take a pretty picture with no lens, impossible. You need to follow what you feel inside Cause failure ain't half as bad as knowing you ain't even tried Some of the best parts of life are when you kneel and cry The older that I get, the more I'm seeing why And that's what life's like And that's what life's like And that's what life's like And it just goes On and on On and on and on On and on and on and on and on Time don't wait for it keeps passing by. Yeah, cause that's what life's like. They thought the way she dressed, the daughter she would say was yes. So when she did some things, they rumored up and made a mess. All she wanted was the rumors to be laid to rest. She concentrated less in school and it created stress. Pull your big girl pants up and put away your dress. You know what time it is, the mind wasn't made to rest. Let them say what they say and they can play the best. Be ready when you take a test and watch them say it less. Or better yet, graduate and you can see them less. And notice all the other people want to be them less. Things evolve, people change, it never is the same. People go from local fame to only known as lame You can't be focused on the people wanna see you down There's plenty of fish in the sea you wanna see you drown There's plenty more who wanna swim along with you They might be right there nodding to the song with you Yeah, and that's what life's like And that's what life's like And that's what life's like My girl Tay goes on and on and on and on, and on. Time don't wait. It keeps passing by. Hold on. Cause that's what life's like. And that's what life's like. And that's what life's like. Icky peas. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Okay, you want to set up with that mic again? Oh, sure. No, it's okay. 
Hi, everybody. I'm back. It's Shay Rochelle with Beyond Incredible here in Nostrum Digital Media's broadcasting. And I'm back with Icky Eric. He just performed an amazing song that he says was most likely about him. If he could pick any song about himself, that's what it would be. So tell us what the origin of that song. Well, like I mentioned before, I've been, I've been doing the music for 10 years. But beyond that, like I feel like compared to at least a lot of my friends, I'm kind of old. I hang around with the younger crowd. So. Yeah. I mean, the the whole thing is just me kind of talking about my own experiences and how I've learned from them and how I've watched other things affect people in a way that right. that's, the, we get fixated on things that aren't important at all in retrospect of what people think about us. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what happened, how how I how I lost track of caring what people think, but especially this year, there's been people throwing so much mud at me, and it's like I'm enjoying right. it even. I'm just like whatever, man. Yeah. Like, and and. So, I mean, a lot of it is really about that, not worrying what other people think. And oh, um, yeah. it's kind of like advice to the to the younger generation in a way. Yeah. You know, you don't got to take my advice if you don't want to. Yeah. Because you know it all, don't you? <laughs> yeah, those are huge words, though, for sure. That's kind of what we believe in as well. You know, if you're not bettering yourself, you yeah. know, ask yourself why you're doing it. That's yeah, all. exactly. Unless you're having a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then, you know. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Yeah, I wish we could talk longer. But uh, what's the next thing? Well, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. I'm not doing anything. Oh, we can change that? I don't do anything here. I just host the show and... Well, Icky's in town, know. so... Icky's in town. Yeah. I got a party. I'll definitely party go. with you guys. Oh, yeah. Not, not that guy. I don't know who... Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if but... he comes back, I'll keep him <laughs> <Yeah>. in check. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so how can your fans keep up with you? Um, that's the, one of the hard things is because, I, I, I mean, you get get me on Facebook or yeah, Twitter. Facebook. The best thing to do, really, is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, okay. It, it's got my old name attached to it. If you search Icky Eric, you'll find my channel. But if it's just, you just go to YouTube.com slash Smite the Kid. So S-M-Y-T-H-T-H-E-K-I-D. If you go to that, I don't know if you've got a little graphic you throw up in yeah, we'll definitely post it on our, our page, too, okay. for sure. And yeah, and, and, and I mean, that's the best way to see any of the new music, because even when I just post, put a video, I'll put a download link right there. Um, but get at me on Facebook. i got yeah. a fan page there, too. If you okay. just look up Icky Eric, and I, I post all the, you know, any show I'm doing, the information's there. So. Sounds great. Okay, yeah. any shout-outs? Want to give any more shout-outs? Oh, man, if I start, I'll never finish. Like the Oscars. We'll have to roll the music and get you, pull you off. I'll have to say, for one, I owe a big thank you to DJ Thor. Oh, um, hey, yeah, Wizard boy. Express DJ. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, you know, he, he was Good the one, him. him and Nini, uh, or Connie, sorry, yep, she Connie. calls herself Connie now. She hooked me up, they hooked me up with, a, you know, I did a, a halftime show for the Express, and, uh, you know, they helped hook that up, that was really great. I mean, Good. Um, uh, Jamon Massey. Huh? Oh, yeah, you guys live stream oh, that, yes, okay, yes. cool, man. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, and then uh, Jamon Massey, he just made a remix, the dubs in the air, we were just, jamming it that'll oh, be on my next album damn, okay. next album's almost done yeah. um the track and feel not track and field track and feel uh okay. it'll be done uh, i want to say a week or two and then i'll start promoting a release date okay. but yeah he's got some beats on there and everything and of course just you know like my whole recording family vocal one family chris chase jay breaks um Oh, see, like I said, I shouldn't start. Uh, Jay Rice. It's okay. Hey, I'm going to miss somebody. I'm <laughs> yeah. going to miss a bunch of people. But uh, Sam O, obviously, Sam O Swan, and, right. and my boy Lawa. Yeah. Um, you know, for being ugly. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's here right now. So. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, nah, just like everybody that works with me in, in, on music and, and everybody that feels like it's worth your time to talk trash about me because you're really doing me a favor anyway. And oh, you are. Yeah, really so we got to give more shout outs to the haters. I mean, honestly, they, they keep us on our toes. I'm so happy with who I am lately. Good. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Huge all the way. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Now, you can follow Capri Pizza, our sponsor, on today's show as well. And uh, Nockstrom Digital Media. Yes, we are going to tear into that pizza. <laughs> and Nockstrom Digital Media, you can follow us as well. Don't miss our other shows. we got Betty Goodell, uh, Betty on the Go. You can watch her show. We've got the Conversions Report with Mike Thomas and Jock Talk with Brett Hedges, my boy Brett. So, uh, yeah, Nockstrom Digital Media, like I said, those are the shows. And these are the best Internet talk shows in Windsor, Essex. So... Sorry, but ours are the best. Hmm. Those shows you need to watch, you can stream X-E-A-Y-Z dot TV. Stream, and then just, uh, you can stream, see us do our thing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. We are going to be back 
uh, check our Facebook page because we're going to upload more about the get upcoming guests that we have. So check out our Facebook page for that. And our website, we're now offering wedding services. And you can have me host your next event if you want to. And thanks to the Business Accelerator. Check out the huge campaign on Facebook. We get our huge bracelets. Yes, I gave you mine, but that's okay. Actually, I put it on my water down here. I put my, my huge band on my water. I ain't giving this one back now. No, yeah. you know, you keep that forever. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so basically we'll be back. Uh, what, what, what day will that be, the 7th? The week, the week after. We're going to take next week off, so we'll be uploading this for August 1st. So uh, you can enjoy this awesome interview and see him eat pizza. <laughs> Until next time, everyone, stay huge. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you for watching. Hey.